Hi, 1CW, it's Mrs. Chuckrin again, here for another read aloud. The book I chose today is by the same author who wrote the very first book I read for our read alouds, If You Take a Mouse to School, Laura Numeroff. She wrote a lot of books like that, like If You Give a Mouse a Cookie, If You Take a Mouse to School. And so today I'm picking one of my favorites, If You Give a Pig a Pancake. And for those of you that remember, I love pigs. They're one of my favorite animals and I've always wanted a pet pig. That's why I chose this one for you today. So let's see what kind of trouble this adorable little piglet gets into if you give him a pancake. If you give a pig a pancake by Laura Numeroff. Illustrated by Felicia Bond. If you give a pig a pancake. She'll want some syrup to go with it. You'll give her some of your favorite maple syrup. She'll probably get all sticky, so she'll want to take a bath. She'll ask you for some bubbles. When you give her the bubbles, she'll probably ask you for a toy. You'll have to find your rubber duck. Oh boy, do you see what she's doing there? Pouring all the bubbles in at once. The duck will remind her of the farm where she was born. She might feel homesick and want to visit her family. She'll want you to come too. She'll look through your closet for a suitcase. Then she'll look under your bed. When she's under the bed, she'll find your old tap shoes. Oh boy, do you think she's gonna get distracted again? She'll try them on. She'll probably need something special to wear with them. When she's all dressed, she'll ask for some music. You'll play your very best piano piece and she'll start dancing. Then she'll want you to take her picture. So you'll have to get your camera. When she sees the picture, she'll ask you to take more. Then she'll want to send one to each of her friends. You'll have to give her some envelopes and stamps and take her to the mailbox. But on the way, she'll see the tree in your backyard. She'll want to build a tree house. So you'll have to get her some wood, a hammer, and some nails. When the tree house is finished, any predictions? What might she want to do next? She'll want to decorate it. She'll ask for wallpaper and glue. When she hangs the wallpaper, she'll get all sticky. Feeling sticky will remind her of your favorite maple syrup. So she'll probably ask you for some. What do you think she's gonna need to go with her maple syrup? And chances are, if she asks you for some syrup, she'll want a pancake to go with it. That's the end of that one. That's a fun and silly one. I hope you enjoyed it and had some fun with it like I did. We will see you tomorrow for another read aloud. Bye guys.